Hi, I'm Steve Bolts. I'm the owner of Professional Diving Resources, and we are going to go ahead and show you how to analyze nitrox today. This is not a substitute for our nitrox class, but rather this is a supplement. It's also here for anybody who is a nitrox diver and maybe wants to refresh how to analyze a gas prior to leaving on a trip. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our oxygen analyzer here. Um, this particular analyzer has a couple of features to it as our on off button. It has our calibration dial here as well. And then a screen to read uh, what's going on on the oxygen analyzer. If we turn it on, um, you're going to see a percentage show up at this particular case. I think it's somewhere 23.2%. And uh, there are two ways to use the analyzer to get the gas content out of it. First off, the way we're going to be using today is using a flow restrictor. The flow restrictor is going to connect to the low pressure inflator hose or the hose that connects to the buoyancy and uh, the power inflator on your buoyancy compensator. Now, the other more common way uh, that we'll see out in uh, on our vacation spots is using uh, what they call a sniffer or uh, air end here, where we can take and turn some of the gas flow on. You want to turn the tank on first before putting the, the analyzer up against it. You want to set a flat the gas flow to a consistent level, and then you'll hold the, in, the analyzer in front of it, and this will adjust. We can use that to adjust um, uh, the content of our known gas. We want this to be set at 20.9%. Now that's very wasteful on gas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and use um, the flow restrictor. So this is gonna connect to our you know, regular uh, inflator hose that we would connect onto the power inflator of our BC. And it just simply attaches just like we would connect to a buoyancy compensator. And back over to our compressed air and we're gonna turn the gas on. So as we go through this, um, the processes that we're going to go through is we are going to calibrate, we are going to analyze our gas mixture, we are going to mark the content tape on the back of our scuba cylinder, uh, and then we are eventually going to uh, adjust our dive computer to the proper nitrox mixture before our dive. So as we have gone ahead, we have uh, set this up on compressed air, you can see the numbers have stabilized. It's reading 23% and we need to take this and rotate this down to 20.9%. All right. And once we have that set at 20.9% and turn the flow of the gas off, we'll have to purge the regulator and move this over to our nitrox cylinder. Once we turn the nitrox uh, flow on, we're gonna probably watch the mixture increase. It's gonna go up. It should take roughly 15 to 20 seconds for this to stabilize. As it gets closer to its final analysis, it's gonna slow down considerably. And we are reading 32.0%. Maybe if we wait a little bit there, you can see it's toggling back and forth between 32.0 and 32.1. All right, and it's just that easy. Now that we've completed the analysis, one other thing that we would wanna do is pick up our pressure gauge, make sure that our pressure, uh, the pressure in our tank and our cylinder is full before we wanna depart on our dive. Although we've analyzed the gas, you also wanna make sure that you're starting off with a full cylinder. All right, I'm gonna turn off the tank, again, release the pressure. Lastly, as we mentioned, we wanted to analyze, calibrate, and lastly, we're gonna use a content tag on the back of the, the scuba cylinder. Should read 31, or this in particular case, this was 32%. This one's marked at 31.7. We'll rechange that. And our maximum operating depth for 100 and, or for 32% is 111 feet, 110 feet. So we'd wanna mark that content tag. Uh, sometimes content tags are also marked with the date. Um, they're also marked with the person who analyzed the gas. And sometimes there are also log pages that would be filled in uh, prior to leaving a, a dive facility or going out on the boat. So that's how uh, we analyze a gas. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was beneficial. We'll look forward to seeing you underwater. Have a great day.